Now that our winds aloft are complete, the next column to fill in is the true airspeed. We're going to find the true airspeed in the pilot's operating handbook. So you have to find the cruise performance page for your airplane, and then find the altitude that you chose to fly at, and eventually we're going to find some kind of a true airspeed to use. So the altitude we picked is 3,000 feet. So the closest altitude on our chart to 3,000 feet is 2,500 feet and it's much closer to 2,500 than it is to 5,000, so I'm just going to use the figures for 2,500 feet. Now a reasonable cruise RPM in a Skyhawk would be about 2,500 RPM, and we go over and if we run at that power setting at that altitude, we should be able to achieve 123 miles per hour true airspeed. The other figure we're going to use out of this chart is the gallons per hour. We're going to get to that in just a second. So for starters, 123 is our number. However, everything on our flight plan so far and when we complete it will be in knots. So some airplanes are in miles per hour. Be careful of that. So what I like to do in a miles per hour plane is I like to make a note down here at the bottom. So I'll say at 2500 RPM, we expect to achieve 123 miles per hour. Now I'm going to convert that to knots before I fill in my true airspeed. So to do that, you can use your E6B, and you can find the conversion area over here from nautical to statute miles, and I'm going to set 123 underneath statute miles. And then I'm going to read the number of knots. So 123 statute looks like it equals 105, 6, 7 knots. So we're going to say, we're going to say 106 knots. All right, so our planned true airspeed now is 106 across the board. Now, eventually, we're going to have to compute fuel used, and that's going to be based on the gallons per hour at the cruise setting that we picked. So looking at the POH again, we're going to use the same line while we're here. We're going to look at the line we picked, and we'll see that this plane is supposed to burn 7.8 gallons per hour at that altitude, at that RPM setting. Now, I encourage everyone to use real fuel burn figures, ones that you've actually verified in the plane, especially when you're renting. And in the plane that I'm flying, I know that it burns 9 gallons an hour. So I'm going to use 9 gallons an hour for my fuel consumption figure. And I'm going to write that down here so that I can use it when the time comes to compute fuel used.